Do you think quadcopters are cool? I don't. But you know what I think is cool? ESP8266s. Bam! Out of focus. These little guys, like that one right there, are a processor with integrated Wi Fi. I've done a couple videos on them, and I think they are the best thing since sliced bread. So cool that they'll make up for how cool I don't think quadcopters are. Right here, I made a little board that has an IMU, an LSM 9 DS1, a BMP 085 barometer. That's an IMU right there. This is a little AVR that can talk I squared C, and it can output to these motor controllers. This board doesn't have them populated, but the one that I put inside of this quadcopter does. I now have it so I can link up to it, and it's creating a little Wi Fi access point. And I can send it commands using oh, using this joystick right here. It actually also responds in some sort of primitive closed loop control. If I tilt it this way, it pushes back. This way, it pushes back. Ooh, calm down, calm down, calm down. There's no filtering yet. I think this is going to be fraught with peril. Calm down. Shh. Shh. Okay gonna be all right. It even responds when you have the counter rotation or if the joystick says to give rotation. This thing has been uh, tied down. Whoa, calm down, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Ow, ow. Okay. It's right now tied down since the last time uh, I let it loose. Uh, it, well, it's not that bad, but it definitely bit me. So, uh, so a little bit more cautious in the future. Anyway, I wanted to see what happens if I try this in its first free flight. So this is the first time it'll be free, and I have never tried this before. Primitive control loop, really nothing going for it. Don't think this is going to work, but I don't like for things that are for sure. This a shot. Woo! Whoops. Okay, let's uh, try something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My code is filled with these magic numbers. Let's try turning down the sensitivity. So I save the file, make net burn. So it's compiling it. Now it's sending the flash. Now it's rebooting. Rebooting. Please come back. Oh, come on. Sometimes the network up. There it is. It's back. Okay, let's give that a shot again. Oh. Yep. A uh, third time with even less sensitivity. So after about 12 hours of debugging this, I discovered why this might be a complete hackaday fail for the entire project. First of all, the not fail parts. Use gyros, not accelerometers, for when you're trying to balance left to right and forward to backward. Makes sense. 
Second of all, lower motor for frequency, lower motor switching frequency caused my I squared C bus just to go to pot. Okay, fix that. Reset line on the AVR getting triggered by the motor noise. Okay, soldered it to five volts. I haven't even bothered tuning the PID loop because I found a bigger problem. If I click and hold this, it enables the, the joystick. Notice how I let go of that a while before it died. Let's try that again. Notice how I'm letting go and it's totally not doing what I want. Well, oh, that time it actually was pretty quick. But the problem is that there's latency on my joystick. Let's see why. Over here I have a tool that makes a continuous ping stream. As long as the amount of time that it takes to get a response packet is low, you'll see that these bars are low. The responses that have happened a longer period of time ago are more towards the right. This is great. This means we have spectacular communication to the ESP8266. Over here is just some debug info, don't worry about that. If I press and hold the allow button, I only held it for a split second there. But what you noticed was that there were packets that weren't being responded to until later. It looks like this wonderful thing called Wi-Fi is trying really hard to get my packets through. That means sending really old packets sometimes. Don't worry about that either. My Wi-Fi card, my laptop does that. Sometimes it's trying to send really old packets because it thinks they're important and it doesn't just give up and drop them. So that means that when I press and hold this, it takes a while for my commands to get through sometimes. Notice how it's still trying to get the messages through sometimes after half a second, sometimes even a whole second before it finally gives up. Notice how all that stream of pings came back, it just took a while. Which means this is basically completely useless for a control scheme. Okay, uh, well, I just, just for giggles, I decided to try to connect this to my roommate's access point, which is upstairs and a couple rooms over. Laptop's also connected to the same access point. It seems to actually help some of the problems. I'm surprised that connecting directly from your laptop to a Wi-Fi device is worse than connecting through an access point, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, still a lot of packet loss, but if I let go, it's pretty quick to respond, which is significantly better. The other thing to consider is some of this comeback here. That you get just not much, but some of the retries that are going on here, like that saw right there, those can probably be overcome by using broadcast. So I'm probably going to give that a shot too. Well, thanks for watching. Okay, before I did this, I was having a bigger... Oh, forget